here. What's going on, everybody? We are back, and uh, today's gonna be a little bit different style of video. I mean, I guess not different. Uh, I will be kind of walking you guys through my workout a little bit more in depth, giving you guys some tips on what we're trying to improve on and grow for you know the road to the O. We're now pro, so these are gonna be. I don't know how many tips is gonna be, but we're hitting shoulders today. Also, this zero chance that any of this is still in stock, but this is the drop that goes live September 14th, super fire. Uh, there's a chance that like, maybe the sweatpants are long sleeves. We also have some stuff here in the back. Uh, I bought wifey a right to bear arms uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, she hasn't shot it yet, so she's gonna go shoot it. There's a chance I buy a pistol. I want one that's more fun to shoot, and maybe I talk Eddie into buying a pistol with me. Or maybe even a shotgun for the crib, because they're like $150. We'll see. But we shall see. I just remembered I was supposed to fucking do this mic'd up, but hopefully it's not too loud in here. And this little one's gonna be joining us. I am sad wifey. <laughs> I don't know if this is God's plan or what, but uh, you hear that? There's no fucking music playing right now. All you hear is the fucking TVs. Apparently half the power is gone. We got the garage doors open. It's gonna be a vibe. We also got our intro. I've only had one meal before training. So we're gonna sit this as we work out. Keep the pump, stay super full. And then uh, we're almost two months post show. We'll see how we're looking. Any words for the people? Well, the only reason why it's a good thing that the audio is off is because we forgot our mics. It still would have been like, it's still rough. But I've never been here with the garage doors open, so that's cool. We're kind of like an old man now. By the time this video's out, I'll probably already be 25. So, uh, birthday's the 20th. You hear that? Exactly. Can't hear fire, you hear everything. I hear motherfuckers breathing heavy, catching their breath after a set. But we're gonna open up our shoulders. Our left shoulder's been giving us a little bit of trouble, and I think it's because I sleep on it. I really need to get like some deep tissue done, but. Typically with shoulders, I'll either start with the rear delts or I'll start with the press. We're literally just gonna hit shoulders. So the workout shouldn't take too long. I think that's one thing where people go wrong. Your shoulder's not a very big muscle, right? So if you, you still hit it hard, like still train to failure, but doing fucking 20 working sets for your shoulders, bro, the muscles is that fucking big, right? So we still hit it hard, but then, how big? Just talking about my cock. <laughs> Jesus, you almost hit me in the face with that, bro. Like I was saying before, I was interrupted by a PVC pipe in my face. Um, you're able to hit the muscle more often. So yeah, maybe if you did all that volume, you could smash shoulders. But realistically, you're not going to recover for a few days. So a few days too many. So I'm already sweating. It's moist. It's not the only thing that's moist in here. Why you gotta be so weird? See, this is exactly what's gonna happen. I'm wearing gray sweatpants. I'm gonna be sweating my ass off. Then we're gonna go to the range. Well, we need to get food after. I guess I can hit a protein shake. I'm gonna have swamp blood up in that motherfucker. Only one Dumbo? There's only one over there. That one? Something's feeling weird in here, so I'm continuing to do it. If you guys want your shoulders like this, you're not using your brain. You need to use your brain. I'm not warming up my shoulders. I know, I'm not it saying just... that. I understand what you just said, but I'm using you. Well, what should I do instead? A and cable. that's valid to do rotator cuff stuff? This is? No. Your rotator cuff rotates. Rotator. The weight of the dumbbell is pushing down. And yeah, you're just but going I back feel and tension forth. in here. Hey, you might feel tension. You're just isometric cold. You want the resistance. Push, here's my hand. That's pulling from here. That's where the rotator cuff does. Yeah, so in a sense, if you were straight down like this and doing it, that would work. pressing motion. I'll do one to two pressing motions. Uh, the first one I typically go rather heavy, so in a workout to the top set. This is just warming up. I'm gonna leave plenty of reps in the tank. Just getting a feel for the weight, feel for my strength today. Uh, and we'll probably jump, I don't know what we'll top out at. We'll see, but 
at least double this. More if I go down more. It's choking, you can't isolate one or the other. But your tricep is responsible for extending your arm. This is what your Your shoulder moves here, this part of your arm. Your tricep extends your arm. That's probably why. And class dismissed. So I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't have a workout split. I don't follow a workout program. I followed it at the beginning of last year's prep and kind of stopped. So all second half of prep, give or take, the whole off season into all this prep down to this off season. I know what weak points need to come up, what I need to focus on, but I just train. I don't count my reps. I know though when I pick up a weight, uh, if I grab these one. I think I can get at least eight, right? And I get a rep range that I fail around, but I think people overcomplicate it. You just need to train hard. So we might just do one top set, no back offs, or depending on how I feel, do a top set, a couple back offs, or just the top set, and then we'll go do a different press. I don't know. At the time, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I just go. But we were feeling dumbbells today. My elbow's clicking pretty bad, but I think. You don't know what the fuck you're doing? No, I, I, like, I, I couldn't tell you what well, we were if training. If you're a beginner, I feel like you need more of a plan, but now that you like know what you're hitting, you know like the workouts that you're doing, you can just like come in and train hard at the exercises that you normally do. Well, like here's the thing, right? Yeah, so like, you see, we got a dope ass team. I'm just saying some people, some people need structure, and some people don't. I don't need structure. I don't like it. If I say if I had program always shoulder press, but I come in one day and I want to hit the Nautilus shoulder press instead, I don't want to feel like constricted. So well, it's, still, it's still the general basis. Like we'll do a press, a couple lateral movements, you know, a rear belt, and say the chest. You might do a couple incline, a couple presses, and a fly. It's just what those are going to consist of. Next time for the hundos. Running. That's what it dictate if we go up or not. I might have to go get some chalk. Oh. See, I feel like we should have went to the radio beforehand. Because I'm being sweaty in this shit. Everyone's been talking about like uh, how long Sam Solik's gonna live one. Just making a video about that is like, what kind of fucking person are you? Like, what kind of shit is that? Like, oh, he's not gonna live long, he's doing this, bro. Get the fuck out of here, that's some negative ass shit. But, I think it's because of lack of hygiene. All right, you guys go to the gym, we're in Texas, not sweaty, you sit in your sweat all the time, you're gonna break out. If you hop on, you're not on top of your shit, wash your face after the gym, bring a little face wash, bring an extra shirt. That's why I took the pump cover off. So that when this is all sweaty, I can take it off, put the pump cover on, and not be sitting in my sweat, because probably gonna get food, maybe, but we're for sure gonna go to the range, so I know I'm gonna be a little bit sweaty. So it may split on the temple of the sets, so I don't sweat as much. But make sure you wash your ass, kids. Hold the sauce. Yeah. Fuck. Ooh. The fact that I'm doing a fraction of. There's levels to this shit, baby girl. Alright, now that we're doing lateral raises, be short rest time. Super quick, so we rested probably like 45 seconds. And now, we're gonna get back into it. A nice cue for you guys. 
keep your chest proud while you're doing these and fight it on the way down. We gotta go over here. But it's easy just to lift it up and let it fall, but actually control it on the way down. You notice I killed my momentum at the bottom. It makes it way harder. Sweating. I don't know if I'm just a bitch. Could also be that I've only ate one time. I feel weak as fuck. We mainly do one press. I do lots of incline on my chest days. Obviously, your front delts used a lot on the incline. But we're gonna move into some rear delt action. Can't neglect the rear delts. You guys see like pull your side chest, your rear delt shows crazy. Your rear delts are gonna show a lot in your back double body. So it's definitely not a muscle group that you wanna neglect. Another tip, you guys do rear delts. And up here, you gotta turn in. You never feel it in your rear delt, just holding it in the typical position. Put your hands lower, right? Your rear delt helps bring your arm back like this. Yes, this targets it too, but ideally, the fibers line up better with your arm down like this. So doing the fly here, and then focus on squeezing it. If you have a partner, say like when Chase was doing it, have them touch your rear delt. And you play around with trying to feel the squeeze. And then, like me, I can just go like this. Just from posing and all that stuff. And I know my rear delt is flex. Flexing it? There you go. Pull your shoulder back. You're rotating your shoulder forward. Yeah. Big body. <laughs> That's sweaty, but... And then, like, if they ever need a spot, you just make sure you get in here. You're so sweaty. Sorry, I'm working hard. And you're hardly working. They don't know me, son. I just don't sweat a lot. They don't know me, son. What do you get it down to? Well, if you start on the belt. I have the last fucking one. I could get it down another. I can't. I can't pull it. It's so thick. You want it on the other one? Do you want it? You need to push it on there? You're not gonna like it. No, I didn't think so. Alright, this might be an unpopular opinion, but. I think if you guys have a weak body part, you should train it on its own. Rather than always, say you're trying to bring up arms, make sure you have just an arm day. Like today, I'm literally just gonna hit shoulders because I want my shoulders bigger. Rather than trying to pair it with triceps and all this other stuff. Because, I mean, I guess everyone's different, right? I'm in a situation where I don't really need to train half of my body, right? So we're mainly focused on upper body. But say you're free match physique, have a day, just chest, I'm telling you. Watch the chest progress that you make just focusing on chest or chest and like bicep instead of tricep. Just watch. Just being able to single it out and you just go in there, focus. You'll also be in and out of the gym a lot faster. And then you just multiply your sessions throughout a week. This is exactly what I'm talking about when I say don't really know. It's like my ladder delts are really shot and super weak already, so good on that. Maybe we'll hit a rear down after this, but we're gonna do another press with pretty solid tempo here. So this is actually a dope as machine, a little standing bike press. We got a little bit of time to kill. 
And Chase goes, you want to go get sandwiches? There's a Jimmy John's a mile away. For fellas, let me translate for you. So what that means is I want Jimmy John's, but I'm not going to want it if you don't want it. But I already did the research and found one that's super close, so do you want Jimmy John's? <laughs> so we're going to Jimmy John's. So we have a Rise meetup, which you guys are going to see as the next YouTube video. And uh, I was telling myself that I was going to like try to cut down. We're like 207, 208 in the morning. And just do like, just lock in and not eat out. Kelly was here, we ate out. But here I am again, eating out. So, maybe fuck that, you know. I don't know, the way we were looking in the mirror today, I was like, ah, we like the cook. We opted out on the cookie. We may still get the cookie, I really like the cookies. But we got potato salad, I don't know why I saw it, and I was just like, you know what, fuck it, bro. I thought it was mac and cheese for a second. Imagine, now we got two of the exact same sandwiches. We're gonna see what this is about. Very mustardy. Keep the cross section. <clears throat> Look at that, man. She going crazy. I'm hungry. I'm normally the first one done. I gotta catch up. Not the gravy is supposed to work out with you. I said, how much protein do you think? It's pretty solid. Yeah. Like you always get ripped off at Chipotle or something. Who's like the sandwich? And then Eddie, what did you get? Something with bacon. We got the 11. Turkey, ham, and provolone, I think. Is it cooked bacon? I hope so. <laughs> like, is it warm? <laughs> I'm about to see. Oh, oh what is it? It's cracking that thing open, man. Where is it? Man asked for bacon. That's pretty sorry. I mean, maybe it'll taste good, though. No, we'll see. His ass. Mm. I think I'll have some weight. <laughs> I'm about to fucking throw it at her. <laughs> Smash it in my face. Very All right, what are the odds that we walk out of here with a new firearm? You guys take your bets right now. Drop them in the comments. I don't know. We'll see. I feel like Eddie's more likely to than me because he's actually got an incentive to do it. He's got a... Uh, For a while now. The old man's birthday coming up. And he wants something that they got here, so it makes sense. Like for hunting? Yeah. We said like for deer hunting, this would be, this is what everyone recommended, caliber wise. Wow. What's up? You got the whole gang or what? Of course, You see Eddie? You got the tattoo. He's good. Oh, these pants are for you. Holy oh, shit, hey, you see it? We got, we got the top tier pants, man. Are they gonna fit? I hope so. You said large, right? Well, yeah, I'm just talking like the legs. Oh, shit. One-on-one -on -one cutoffs. Oh, shit. <laughs> I don't know if that's the move. <laughs> that's definitely not the move. Holy oh. That was the fastest 20 shots of my life. That shit is fun. <laughs> shit is like, oh hell no. So, we gotta look. I don't know how many rounds Eddie got though. That's the only issue. But Eddie got four on target at 20 yards. Be up here. We already have this one. So, I gotta be four on target. Which is low key kind of far. Moment of truth. I, I, 
that one felt good, but we don't know what the fuck we're doing here. <coughs> I think you beat me. Oh my god, I'm dog shit. <laughs> Top right hard. I hit two on target if that. I wonder what causes that going top right coil anticipation. I don't fucking know, but all right, let's run it for real now. What is that? We're gonna bring out the small targets for the pistols. For whatever, you can put it in these spots where there's no bullets. Yeah. It's hard to tell now. There's so many damn bullets on the paper. But okay, now we're gonna do a contest. Well, you want to do it at five or seven yards? What are we shooting though? Well, you pick the gun. You got this. This is really hard. You got mine. Let's let's have Marcel pick for us. All right. Well, I got it set up for y'all. Oh, he's setting it. Oh. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> um. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna give oh, each of you. Rounds. There's and ten you. rounds and there's ten. So after you shoot, do you have to go to the next target? You cannot proceed until you hit the target. Ah. And we'll make it easy. We're not going to make it where I call them out. We'll just go in order. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. You can call seven, it out. Eight, I nine, might not ten. be able to hear you, but you can call it out. Oh, I could call it out. I'll take that. I hit that, I mean, right? You hit the bottom right corner. Take the six. Oh, yeah, I didn't hit the corner. All right, so he got six. 60% shooting. This was NBA. I'd be doing. Fuck. That All boy's right. shaking. I know. I already fucking up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Damn. Uh oh. Oh, he's. Oh no. I don't know. It's nah, looking. He hit it. He Did he? Hit it. In that bottom left. Yeah, bottom left corner. He hit. Uh. Yeah, hit. Is that a red? Yeah, that's a red, boy. You're low. You're low. Damn. Low again. Lock in. Oh no, it's looking rough out right here! Oh my god, low again! Damn. Jesus Christ, you're hitting the same I, I spot, know. Eddie! Fuck! <laughs> oh, Bring it up! Damn. I'm not depending on nah. Eddie for my life. <laughs> now nah, let's switch it to AR. <laughs> right? Nah, I had to make sure he's not cheating us around here. Good. Hey, I expect good. you to go 10 for 10. This is your gun. Oh, damn. Home court advantage. That's pressure. Pressure's privilege. Barely. Miss. Hit. 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 Miss. Hit, I think. Yeah, we'll bottom it. left. Hit. Hit. Damn. Almost. I think you got eight. Did you hit that one? You had a couple questions. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that one hit. Oh, no. They slid in right underneath the <laughs> So what is that? Te technically six. Technically we tied. Technically we tied. Nah, how though? He hit that one. What do you uh, mean? That's him, isn't it? Or is that him? No, nah, because I didn't oh, get to that yeah, one. That's that right. is you. Yeah, so and then no, here, I hit that shit. This one you barely. I don't know which one it was. Yeah, it's but a hit, baby. They both hit here, here. Here's any shot, and here was my shot. And there's I don't know who shot. I should have won 10 for 10. No excuses. I know, brother. Show God, man. All right. Well, we're going to have something to show you guys here in a second. We got the biggest drop. Excuse me. Chase your dreams history. We recently hit 10K, and I'm putting this at the end of the video for a reason. I'll probably post about it on my story, but 
I'm gonna pick one person to fly out for a weekend. We'll lift, we'll grab some food, maybe I'll come up with some other crazy shit that we could do. But I wanna do something big for 10K. Obviously, 10K is really not that big. Damn, in the grand scheme of things, right? There's plenty of people that have way more followers and whatnot, or I should say subscribers, but we've grinded our ass off to get to that point. I think we're actually at like 10.1. So, but I need you guys to comment down below. Also, you're gonna have to be 18. I don't think I can do, yeah, I can't find anyone out younger than that. I don't wanna deal with all the legality shit. This is coming out of my pocket. No, this is just me showing love to you guys, but comment down below why you watch my content. Whether it's I inspire you, you know, and I'm gonna pick someone out of there uh, to do it. And maybe if there's any of you guys that are local, uh, obviously that'd be a little bit different if you somehow got picked. But we'll think of something dope. But I'll cover all the expenses, food, stay, put you in a hotel, come pick you up, like we'll whoop around the Hellcat, have all sorts of fun. But drop that down below. We're gonna finish walking Duke, and I'm gonna show you guys these that just got dropped off took so long you're supposed to be here at like beginning of summer but trying to get samples right and i think these are going to be right i can only pray and hope that they're what they need to be but i'm super excited for that also on top of someone coming out here i'm going to reach out to some of my sponsors uh, maybe heal mix rise young la and get you guys a bit of like a care package or maybe even um fucking a gift card i think a care package would be really dope so you like have it there like just deck you out and like some young la get you some subs from rise some energy drinks although you wouldn't be able to fly back with the energy drinks so whoever does come out make sure you bring a big check bag but it's my thank you to you guys i don't see any other creators doing it like that so i gotta i gotta give back when i can and that's that's all thanks to you guys using code j watching the videos sharing the videos hitting the follow telling your friends hey bro you gotta watch this nigga bro so we're gonna let this little nigga shit and then we'll show you the samples. So this always like gets me hella nervous because if this shit is ass, I'm literally fucked. like we're here. There is no going back on it. Bruh, y'all didn't label them, bruh. Oh they did. Okay, this is a medium. Super fire. So these are like a super lightweight short, not super heavy. Uh, I guess we'll just put it on, bro. I guess that's the really only way. Ooh. So we got white, blue, and red. This is a medium that I'm gonna be putting on. Yeah. Fit to late. We got the zippers on the side, so. You put your phone in here, you don't gotta worry about it uh, falling out. Oh, there's a deuce. So we got the double zipper. Super lightweight though, super breathable. I mean, you can't fucking beat it. I think these are super hard. So we got the blue pair, super hard. The only thing I fear is that we got, we got some new colors of, of some shirts that we already have, and I'm scared that they're not going to be the same, like, shades of, you know, red. Or, but I got the red pair. These shits are saucy. So, a little red, white, and blue action. I don't know. These are the colors that I find myself wearing a lot, and I feel like lots of things are have either blue or red. And obviously, white goes with anything, but... Well, we got some inventory to do now. But I don't know when this will drop. We have three new colors of the Don't Die Before Trying. I'm not gonna tell you what the colors are. If you're in the Discord, you already know. Uh, two long sleeves and two new stringers. Plus all the shorts. I think we'll keep the socks and the straps for people that order. And then I'm working on hats right now. So those might be included in the drop. We shall see. But I appreciate you guys. As always, it's been real. It's been true. It's your boy Jay Lane. And go chase your motherfucking dreams.